Howdy folks, IHC Banjo here. Thought I'd show you some nickels that I had found. This is over the past week or two. I uh, just haven't had a chance to make a video. And thought I would show you here what I had. So during here I had five no-date buffaloes. I don't remember how many boxes this was out of. I think it's two or three, but I can't remember for sure. So there's five of those no-date buffaloes. And that one right there was one of the worst worn I've ever seen, I think. <laughs> and then, going along to a little bit better condition, one that was really nice, a 1938, which you don't find many of those 38s in circulation. It's hard to find them. A bit dirty there, but... I had to find it. And you have a 1940, four 1941s, 41D, a 1946s, 1947s, 49s, two 1951s, two 52Ds, 53. 53D and S. I got those backwards because I didn't find the D until after I had already written the S down. So those are 53S and D. 254Ds, a 54S. 255Ds, 1956 D, 1957. 19, four 1957Ds. And then I had all these 59Ds. There's two, four, six seven of those 59 days. And I had a 1999 Canadian. And I had a couple that were really odd. They had some odd wear, as you can see that I've written there. It's the most worn, one of the most worn Jefferson nickels I've ever seen. I don't know how old it is, I can't even see a date on it. And there you can see how worn the back is. It's just about beat to a pulp and this one here had some had a bad cave in there especially on the top I don't know what happened to this one but it's just roached so there you have it there are the nickel finds I've had for the past week or two that I haven't had a chance to film uh, glad, always glad to find those buffaloes, even if they are no dates. And the 38 was a good uh, find there. So soon I'll be back with some more videos. I have a lot of pennies to film, and then hopefully I can get some more coins from the bank to go through this week. So like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye bye now.